Prior to the founding of the Southern Poverty Law Center, a young lawyer, Joe Levin, and myself had, had been practicing law, and I'd been practicing law, doing civil rights work. And we decided that we couldn't afford to run this operation just out of our pockets. And so we incorporated as a nonprofit to see if we could seek financial help from around the country. The first lawsuits we filed was kind of a mopping up operation after the civil rights movement that we think of that ended with Dr. King's death, but it left a lot of things undone. And one of the major groups of lawsuits we originally filed back then was to open the voting and elective office possibilities for blacks, voting rights cases. I guess the second one was to open public employment up to African Americans. In 1965, when Wallace's troopers beat up the marches at the Selma Bridge, they were all white. In 1970, we filed the lawsuit to integrate the Alabama State Troopers. The next big general area that we moved into after that was uh, uh, trying to dismantle major hate groups. The Klan had bombed the church in Birmingham that killed the little girls, and I'd always vowed that if any way I could ever, ever go after those people that did it, I would. Over the years, because of the work, that we've done here at the center. There have been at least 35 people put in prison for trying to harm myself and our property and people that work for us. Our building was burned in uh, 1984 by a Klansman because of a case that we did. But you know, when you start doing this work, you don't uh, think about what's gonna happen. I don't think it's any, any particular bravery involved in it. I just think that uh, people who are dedicated to the work they do just push forward.